All right, joining us now, Florida Republican Senator Rick Scott. Welcome back to Fox News Sunday. All right, you heard uh, the explanation Hi, there from your colleague, uh, Senator Langford, who by all accounts is a well-respected person on Capitol Hill and within the Senate. He talks about just the last few months, the terror watch people that have come through, the special interest aliens. And it comes on the back of this letter from a number of former FBI executives warning congressional leaders saying this, it would be difficult to overstate the danger represented by the presence inside our border of what is comparatively a multi-division army of young single adult males from hostile nations. The country has been invaded, an invasion that will continue as long as the nation's enemies perceive it will be tolerated. So do you agree with that assessment, by the way? And if so, why not take something that would stop some of the traffic sooner rather than later? Well, first, I think James is he's smart, he's hardworking, he knows the issue. He's on a suicide mission. Um, the Democrats do not want to secure the border. I'm a business guy. I never did a business deal where the other side did not want, have the same goal I have. Democrats don't want to secure the border. That's number one. Number two is, right now, this border could be secure, but we know we have a lawless administration, completely lawless by administration. So the only way this is going to happen is if we have accountability that forces Biden to enforce the law. We could change all these laws. There's laws now. Trump secured the border. Biden decided to open the border on the exact same laws. We don't need a new bill. We need something to enforce, to force Biden to comply with the law. Now, James, James is doing the best he can to try to explain a bill that, unfortunately, I don't know why they don't share it with us. I mean, I, I'd rather be for something, but we don't get anything. But what we do know, Biden's lawless. He doesn't want to secure the border. Biden's don't, by, the Democrats don't want to secure the border. And McConnell has told Lankford that he cannot put accountability in measures in there to require Biden to secure the border today. He said that will not happen. So what about the issue, though, if, if you have this rolling number that when you hit 5,000, which is going to happen very quickly at this border, it would be mandatory that the border closes down. Is that not some measure of accountability that it would at least stop the flow temporarily until maybe you have a reelection or a different president? Well, Biden could do that today. Why does he do it today? I mean, he doesn't need any of this to secure the border. Trump secured the border with the exact same laws. I mean, there, unless there's some accountability measure that forces Biden to secure the border tied to Ukraine, aid, tied to something else, unless there's something like that, Biden's not going to comply with the law. If it was important for him to comply with the law, he would do it right now. If we, if we can't force Biden to, to secure the border, we need to shut the border today. I can tell you, everybody in Florida, I mean, we love immigration, legal immigration. We don't want drugs. We don't want human traffickers. We don't want criminals. We don't want terrorists. It needs to be done today. And the only way that's going to happen is we get a bill that forces Biden to do it. And there's and we we've, we've been told McConnell will not allow um, James Langford to put that in the bill. Well, it's not in the bill. So, you, I mean, I, what you've done negotiations before. So, you know what this is like that until that deal is done, this is a lot of tenuous back and forth. So hopefully you'll see the text. We all will very soon. But I want to ask you about the accusation that you guys actually don't want to get a bill done. Washington Post says this Democrats are offering something Republicans have wanted for years. But dear leader Trump says no. And suddenly GOP senators are afraid to say yes. How much of your objection is based primarily on the former president's objection to this bill that he hasn't seen either? He's irrelevant to this conversation. He's not in office. All right. And by the way, I talked to President Trump. He's never asked me uh, to be opposed something. But you know what? The American voters are in the same position Trump's in and the same position I'm in. We need to secure the border today. And the only way you can do that with a lawless administration is you have to Make them do it. You have to have tie it to something. And what I, what I don't get is Mitch McConnell doesn't want to do that. It's the most important thing we want out of this bill. And we and, and by the way, we got to be very careful. We don't codify Biden's open policies, and we don't hamstring Trump when he wins the presidency. But this is if you if you don't if if you don't want to secure the border today, don't be blame it on on Trump. You know, say you you don't care what the voters think. It's not it's not all what Trump thinks. It's the voters want a secure border today. OK, I, before you go, I want to ask you about a case that you have some involvement with. This is a government contractor who worked to get IRS records and leak them, including for President Trump and thousands of other people. You have said in a letter to the attorney general you were 
impacted by this too. And you don't think the DOJ is taking this seriously enough. Wall Street Journal says about this, this man's going to be sentenced tomorrow, that Mr. Littlejohn doesn't dispute that he stole tax records. He gave the files to the New York Times and progressive website ProPublica. Mr. Littlejohn's lawyers say he decided, quote, the American public had a right to know the president's tax information. Will you be at that sentencing tomorrow? What would you like to see? I'm, I'm going to be there. I, he released my tax return. He intentionally took the job to release Trump's tax return. And this, he's, he did over 7,500 people. And he's going, to be, he's going to plead guilty to one case. I mean, this is just, this is an example of the Justice Department deciding, oh, if you do something against Republicans, who cares? If you do it against Democrats, that's bad. But if you do it against Republicans, oh, we'll just give you a slap on the wrist. We will follow that case. Senator Scott, thanks for your time. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.